Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Pattern Shift on Dr. T TV. I'm Dr. T, and this is the place where we shift reactions into intentions so we can all live our most elevated life. And the pattern shift we're doing today is phenomenal. It is, in fact, one of the biggest shifts that a person can make. And it is one of the things that will elevate a person's life um, at the absolute highest level. So this is the shift from the child to the adult. This is a really good pattern shift because the child self, right? Especially as we're, as we chronologically evolve through life, right? As we're chronologically experiencing life and going forward and, you know, the revelations of the, the uh, what do you call it? The, the, the world is turning and uh, the revolutions around are going and the chronological clock, right, is, is tracking and it's going forward and we are experiencing what is forward, right? And in that process, us humans are meant to evolve forward. We're meant to evolve forward and we're meant to evolve upward into a more elevated state than is typical than when we are children and when we are less formed and less emotionally capable of knowing exactly how to create the reality that we want, right? knowing exactly how it all works. So when we are younger, both chronologically and emotionally, right, that child self um, is essentially in a process of development. And yet when we become chronological adults and the universe is requiring our attention, it's requiring our focus, it's requiring our intentions and it's requiring our productivity, right? It's requiring our directions. Where do we want to go? How do we want to feel? What do we want to have there? Who do we want to be with? So when we're in the chronological adult stage, and as we're approaching that more and more throughout our life, what's meant to happen is we're supposed to emotionally evolve. And then that takes us to our next level, right? But what we can know is we're not a society that has a big that puts a big priority on emotional education. So what happens is as people are developing their children or as us, any one of us was being developed as a child, there's only so much emotional training, right? So what happens is the chronological clock is ticking, tick, 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 it goes. It says you're going forward, right? You're 15, you're 17, you're 18, you're 20, you're 21, you're 40 and it's going. And yet our emotional evolution is what is really so important for it to be happening so that we are emotionally evolving to create the emotional experiences and the material experiences that we want. But what can happen is that people can chronologically mature and get all the wear and tear of being a chronological adult, but they can be way back in the child self and they can pop back into the child self a lot and they can hang out there and they can end up being, you know, you can be a 40 year old man, but be like a 14 year old boy emotionally. And so we want to make this shift, right? We want to go from the child self to the adult self, no matter what happened, because when we are in that adult self, when we are literally there, like the universe is saying, Hey, you got to be on point here, right? You, you don't get to be this at this point and be backward. Otherwise things are going to be really complicated. If you're back here and you're hanging out back here at this other age, which you already were, by the way. So you're meant to be here now, but if you're hanging out back there, then you're essentially in a child state. You're in a child self. And what happens with the child self 
is the child self is confused. It's vulnerable. It's dependent. It's scared, right? It's overwhelmed. It's, it's really, it, things feel very complicated. How does this work? How's it happen? The child self feels weak. The child self can feel frustrated and tantruming and the child self is really a, a point for many people where like they don't have all of their top power and capacity. And so what can happen is that we, we unfortunately humans can remain in their child self when they really, their adult self is needing their attention and focus and directions. And that child self is something that just because we've lived it and maybe we would have wanted it to be a different story, a different movie of our life. What happens is that people hang out there because they don't know how to develop forward and upward, right? Going forward in life and upward in their capacity and status uh, so that things get easier, right? And people can get stuck in the child self where all the whining and the complaining and the overwhelm and the melting down and the shutting down and the bottoming out and the, you know, just all the meltdowns and all the so much unpleasant stuff can be there that really isn't congruent with what it is that adults are here to do and need to do and want to do and how much in this world, in our families, in our careers, in our relationships, just in what life is now where we are, we are needed. Our attention is absolutely needed to create our most elevated life, our most expansive life. And if we're entertaining the child self, if we're engaging the child self, if we're in, in any way remaining in the child self, then what's happening is in the adult life that one is living, they don't have all their power. They don't have all their capacity. They don't have all their gifts that are there and available. They don't have all their talents. They don't have all their focus. They can be distracted and all, all of these things. They can be really in pain and struggling and suffering and crying, <laughs> right? And what we want, what this invitation for this pattern shift is, is to be in the adult self because the adult self is in charge. The adult self creates what it wants. The adult self creates amazing things. The adult self has focus and attention and productivity. And the adult self performs, it's smart, it's intellectual, right? it's creative. It's again, very powerful, very loving, very connected, very aware, very able to see what is occurring. And it's just also say, well, this is what I want it to be. This is what I know will make it better. This is what I know will improve the experiences in the lives of people around me. This is what the adult self does, right? And this is why we wanna make this pattern shift because the adult self says, I solve problems, I create solutions, I receive abundance, I navigate and manage and organize and coordinate and orchestrate and synchronize, right? I manifest, I materialize. This is what the adult self does. The adult self, you know, is orchestrating life. The adult self is calling the shots. The adult self is collaborating. The adult self is receiving what it is that are all the gifts of life and the privileges. And the adult self is stewarding life and resources and leading themselves and leading others. And the adult self is playing in creativity, having fun. The adult self is making life into a masterpiece of all the different components that uh, that an adult, right? That the most elevated adult wants, right? And the most elevated adult wants these amazing things that also include, of course, the top levels of fun and happiness and celebration and enjoyment 
And literally the adult gets to experience fully the mastery of being a person, right? We're not no longer crawling. We're no longer rolling over. We're no longer flopping down. We're no longer falling down, tripping over, running into things like the fully adult self is masterful and just enjoys the mastery of intentionality and creating and receiving and collaborating and growing and evolving and and just absolutely enjoying life in its most elevated way, right? The adult self is operating at full capacity, not the younger self capacity. The adult self has all of this experience and it takes it like a scientist. And instead of making any experience bad, it says, oh, I'm taking everything I've ever learned and I'm using it to create the best life. It says, whatever it is that it's, it's being felt in the world, whatever the drama, trauma, craziness is, the adult self says, I'm going to use all of that energy to create awesomeness and amazing things. I'm going to use it to innovate. I'm going to use it to absolutely celebrate life and share life and really make it effortless and easy for everyone to be able to do the same thing. That's what the adult self does. So that's why this pattern shift is really, really powerful and really, really valuable because everywhere in the rest of your life, as the adult that you are, right? Anywhere that you would have been in that child self and been in that lower self relative to what age and stage you are in life and what the requirements are, not only of the basics of life, but also, you know, what it is that your dream life requires of you. Instead of being in your child self, you are literally in charge. You are orchestrating and you are a totally emotionally available, your whole emotional adult self, you're totally emotionally available for the life that you envision, the life that is, is coming through you and wants to be expressed and wants you to cultivate it and develop it, right? Like the developer that you are, like the designer. The adult self has all of the resources and all of the access and all of the empowerment and all of the fabulous intentions to use it for the betterment of humans, including ourselves, right? Because we're human. So to use it for the betterment of the planet and this entire home that we all inhabit together. The higher self, the most adult self that can, by the way, if you're 40 years old, you can go far beyond this. You can be in your most wisest 300 year old of of wisdom self. You can have 300 years of wisdom. You can use the you know, thousands and thousands of years of wisdom that are available in the world. And you can operate in that wisdom in your wisest, highest adult self and make it an absolute celebration of life in a complete and total party because nobody says that wisdom needs to be so damn serious. In fact, being your most emotionally elevated adult self, your wisest self means that you get to make it however you want it. And yet it is requiring you to be at your fullest capacity self for you to have all the fulfillment that you want because the teeny tiny self, the three-year-old self, it's not empowered enough to create all of that that you want as this adult that keeps expanding your vision in life. So this is a massive pattern shift. It is a major pattern shift. And the invitation is to replace that child self as you are an adult. I'm speaking to the adults here to replace that child self with the adult self or the lower self with the higher self. So replace that child self with the adult self. Let's be clear. Right. And you're going to experience a lower self uh, that is less 
has less capacity to your highest self. So you are operating at your highest capacity and the entire equation for the rest of your life. Now, when you map it all the way out, that's what's going to be in the equation. And that's what's going to create awesomeness for you and everyone that you interact with and everyone that you will influence. All right, everyone. So this is one pattern shift. And while it's a major one, it's still just one pattern shift out of millions of pattern shifts that we have over at drtracyinc.com, which is our emotional training center where all of our emotional trainers are standing by for you to go ahead and move forward, right? And move in the direction of go ahead and book a consultation, check out any one of our programs that teach you all kinds of different emotional training techniques so you can operate in your most elevated way, right? And again, this pattern shift is for you, but it's for everyone because we all want a world full of adult people uh, where we have adults, we want them operating as emotional adults. So send this out and share it so that we elevate our atmosphere so that the adults that are running the show here are really running it like the emotional adults that they need to be. Um, and so again, one pattern shift today, more to come. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Take care.